Hey, welcome back to another shop tour. It is the end of November. We've uh, added a few boats in here. Uh, we've gotten everything put away into storage and uh, this is our winter work and we're gonna share that with you today. So we have the 1930 20-foot triple Chriscraft. Uh, we are starting on the decks. We have all the decks removed. This boat was a little bit of a problem in the earlier videos. I may have mentioned that these had steel fasteners in it uh, and they were really hard to get out. But we have got all the wood uh, re-sawn for the decks. We've got the covering boards done, almost completed, and then we'll start on the decks and the deck seams. Um, if you are doing a boat and need something, uh, some information, maybe we're working on it at the time that you see this video and you're going to do it on your boat, leave down in the comments and maybe we can help you with that. That's really what this channel is about. It's not just about showing you what is going on around here, but it also is to help you restore your own boat. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and the bell to be reminded. That bell reminds you whenever a new video drops. So do that and maybe we can help you restore your boat. We're gonna work on uh, some interior pieces and then we're gonna fare the rest of this thing out and get this stained this, this winter. This, we'd like to have this ready to go in the spring as far as the hull completed and built and painted and varnished. So uh, that's the goal for this one. So we have the 1937 split cockpit, Chris Craft 17 foot foot deluxe runabout. It's a lot. Um, we got the new frames in there. Zach has installed the new chines on the boat. The chines are pretty rotten and pretty rough. There was a little soft spot back here and we usually don't scarf in like this but in, it, we only had a little bit that was bad and the reason that we did it this way is that we knew that the strut is going to get bolted through these big oak pieces and then it'll, it'll go right through the scarf. So there's no way that this thing will ever come apart or ever get loose because it's sandwiched in between the strut and these big oak frames. So if you are doing a scarf, one thing you want to look at is directional. Like our scarf is going this way because the water is flowing this way. You don't want it backwards. Also, uh, you want to put it on a frame so at least it's got some support for the scarf. So very important for that. New transom frame on this. Uh, new stringers. The stringer was rotten. It is just rotten, completely rotten. So uh, these were vertical grain fur from the factory, um, which is super strong and super light. They weren't oak, they weren't mahogany, which is too heavy. We usually replace them back with fur. Um, New inner bottom, this is a full restoration. So once we get the frames done uh, and then the chime all completed and the new stringers in, then we can start on the inner bottom and the outer bottom. So uh, once again, like to have that done, have this boat at least right side up uh, by the end of winter. So we have the 18 foot Riviera. Uh, we have a couple new frames that we had replaced. This boat was in really good condition, so we didn't have to do too much there. We cleaned everything up though. We made sure that all of our frame landings were clean and nice and fair. Uh, installed the inner bottom. All the bottom planking is made for this. And uh, today, Caleb put on the side planks and built those. So next week we'll be doing the 5200 
bottom on this where we embed the planks into 5200. So uh, if you are interested in learning about that, I do have a series on uh, how to install a 5200 bottom. So you can check out the list of videos for that. But um, once again, this is a full restoration and we are shooting for, you know, midsummer to get this done, hopefully. Uh, a lot of the interior and stuff is really nice in it, so not sure what we're going to replace on that, but we're going to have everything re-chromed, definitely go over the sides, got a lot of mixed, matched wood and different colors in here. So we're going to fix all that and turn this into, once again, a factory correct Chris Craft Riviera. Here we got the 17 foot deluxe. Uh, we stripped this down to bare wood, if you probably saw that in the last video. Uh, a name going on, Bluster. The artist will be in here next week to put that on. Uh, and then it's four to five final coats and this boat is pretty much done. Uh, we'll probably put it into storage and then go through and put a new fuel tank in it and get it running for the season in the spring. So uh, stay tuned for that, watch videos for that. We will definitely share that in some shop tours. All right, so we have the 1950 25 foot sportsman twin engine. Uh, this boat is on hold for a little bit. Uh, we have everything fared and all the woodworking done, but put a hold on this for a little bit. Hopefully we'll get back on that in a oh, month or so. And then we have some engines here that they all get rebuilt. We have five engines that we have to go down to the engine rebuilders. So these are three of them that go in various boats. Some of them are in storage, some of them are here, uh, but we'll get that done through the winter and get those back into their boats and ready for the season, so. Um, so a newcomer, we have a 1958, not sure if it's 57 or 58, uh, 17 foot sportsman. We've done a couple of these over the years. Um, this one is in here for a new bottom and we will next week we're going to start removing all the hardware, removing the engine out of this and flipping it upside down and put a new 5200 bottom on it. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, hope you enjoyed the shop tour. We have got plenty of work to do over the winter time and we're going to be sharing that with you. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, the bell down in the corner, you hit that and that will remind you of videos uh, when I post them. Uh, if you want to support the channel, hit that Patreon and uh, greatly appreciate any support you can give me. And we will see you back here. Bye.